really just to protect our Mother Earth and to protect our future generations and our children today. And it's kind of like we, we ask, like, uh, you know, what, what seeds are we planting for our future generations? And these are the seeds that we're planting for our future generations. We honor all our ancestors who brought these seeds to us, who through their hard work and their life and their journey brought us the seeds that we plant today. You know, we're not disconnected from that. And that's, the, our, that's what keeps me going, you know, all the time. We, were, we saw the sun come up today because it's Dia de San Isidro, the patron saint of agriculture, and we're out here celebrating. We, we got our garlic all trimmed up, you know, we're doing it up, and we got kids coming out here actually in 45 minutes that are going to just check it. You know, it's really nice, and that's what keeps me going is the youth. The youth give me medicine, and they are medicine, and we need to be their medicine. You know, we need mentorship. That's what we're all about, intergenerational mentorship. You know, taking the youth to the elders so they can learn from the elders. They can communicate with the elders, learn how the elders communicate to the plants, learn how the elders communicate with the land and with the water. You know, that's what keeps me going, and that's that's what I think what's amazing about this space. We have drip system agriculture over here donated by New Mexico State University that La Placita is doing. And we got sembradores across the way pulling from the acequia, bringing water from the acequia, you know, different styles. They're different styles, but we're doing it. There's a hoop house over there that's got greens up to here, you know, just because they got away from us. We got to keep it going and keep it going. It's like learning different styles is what keeps me going. Learning different techniques, learning how, like Miguel always tells us, it's arte. You know, this is arte. And to see people's different arte and to see how they interact with the crops and how they do and you know and and to and to let them do that too because it you know when you plant crops and you, you do your painting too it's sensitive too you know but to, to like have the sacrifice or the surrendering to watch other people do it too and watch how they do it and not try to control how they do it but to you know help each other you know and help each other just listen to what the crops are saying and to remember that so I think that's what's best and what I think you know is important for the future of agriculture in New Mexico and for you know the US in general uh, but I think New Mexico just to big up New Mexico and big up all the people like Mike was saying there's so many people here you know sustainability is this new buzzword that's come up right but we have people and cultures and tribes and pueblos that have been sustainable for thousands and thousands of years you know so it's nothing new we're we're representing our ancestors and how to be sustainable you know we're trying to remember that but also weaving together are representing this generation you know there's a, we're in a different time we've been born into a different time I was born into I remember the first time I saw internet you know we're working with 10 megapixel cameras now you guys got all this equipment you know it's a different time so we're weaving we're weaving and we're trying to cultivate a new time you know Quinto Sol this 2012 is a very real deal you know we're preparing for that we're getting ready for this new shift in consciousness and in lifestyles and in interaction with Mother Earth, you know, because we're abusing our relationship with Mother Earth as a society. So just to big up New Mexico, because there's a lot of people here that understand that uh, the Earth is our mother and that she's sacred and we have to take care of her. And I think that's the most important thing for agriculture. But I think what's important is communal, communal agriculture, commun uh, like people in the fields, people putting work in, like we said, puro jale, the good work, you know, getting it going, sweating, but seed saving, you know what I'm saying, is very important. But I think what's really important, what I'm pushing for and what I've dedicated my life to is implementing agriculture in the education system. You know, I think that's crucial for the future of agriculture, for the future of our generations, for the future of the society, for the future of all things. It is important that our kids are in nature. They are, you know, they're involved in the cycles of nature. They're involved in seed saving. They're involved in the connection and growing food. Because if you ask a lot of kids now, they could, you know, I've asked kids, where does food come from? And some kids have told me from the store. And I ask them, okay, that's cool, but what about before the store? And they don't really understand that it comes from the earth. And that's sad. It's sad that we buy water. You know, it's sad that we have to buy water in this society, but we don't talk about these things very much. You know what I'm saying? Or people are talking about them, but what's happening? How are we, how are we changing it? So I encourage people, the future of agriculture is also the future of people going to school board meetings. The future of, you know, getting involved with the PTA, getting involved in what your kids are learning, having a say about that. Just in personally, I think they're, they're, there's an injustice in the way they're teaching history in New Mexico. They're not teaching about acequias. They're not teaching about all the amazing people that are here, all the things that happen. You know, it's getting presented a particular way, and that's what we should question. And we're we're always questioning that's good citizenship right there is questioning governance questioning how we are governing that basically how are we living how are we living and we are questioning that in a big way and you know I appreciate this time but I think for the future of agriculture we need it in our schools we need gardens in schools we need it to be important and we need you know, like I said to educate instead of school we need to do organic agriculture instead of this crazy petroleum based modern food production it's destroying the earth and it's destroying our children, literally. You know, and it's hard, it's complex to document and quantify, you know, and, and but we could see it. We could see it in diabetes. We could see it in ADD and all this crazy, you know, 
craziness that's happening, you know, and, we, and I don't want to get into it because we don't even have time for it, but I think if we could get kids in the fields eating good food, that's a big thing. They don't eat good food in schools. What's available? Snack food, junk food, soda. That's the only food that's readily available. How come we don't have fruit in there? Well, because we're not supporting it. We're not supporting our local farmers. You know, we got a big subsidized monocrop society that's subsidizing big old farmers, but not our local guys. And, you know, and that's the, that's the phase. And there are people supporting, like Mike was had a good tone. I don't want to jam it so much because there are people doing amazing things, you know, big up to all the foundation. We just got an amazing blessing from the Kindle Project. Just as big up them. They're supporting this work. They're, I mean, it's, it's blowing up. Yeah, this is, grassroots is a very real deal. And what we're seeing is grassroots come to flower. We're flowering. You know, we're flowering through community gardens, through having our own after school programs, through having our own curriculums, through creating our own, you know, government. We're basically cultivating our communities. You know, we're growing as a, as a community, as a, as a society, and we're, we're evolving what it means to be a citizen. You know, that's what we say, citizens implementing agriculture. We're the new CIA. Right.